You are right. Just an opinion. Just an opinion. We'll see. I could be wrong. The Indianapolis Colts come up next here. Eight and a half is their win total for next year. So, per Vegas, uh, it will be between the Colts and the Titans as to who will win this division next year. Both of them are set at eight and a half wins. Uh, I think, obviously, Phillip Rivers changes a lot of things. Obviously, it's only one season, and they've still got Jacoby Brissett. And and he will learn under Phillip Rivers a little more and, and maybe become a better quarterback, but we'll see. Uh, but they needed wide receiver help, edge rusher help, and defensive line help. So let's see exactly what they ended up doing. They did not have a first-round pick, but they did have two early in the second round. They had a third, a fourth, a fifth, and then four sixth-round picks. So... Let's break this thing down. Wide receiver Michael Pittman Jr. out of USC with their first second round pick. And then they got running back Jonathan Taylor out of Wisconsin with their second second round pick. Uh, Michael already jumps in. He said, Colts best draft in the division. Now, we'll we'll give you our opinions here momentarily. Uh, Joseph Gomez jumped in on YouTube. Also depends on how they want to use a player because sometimes that is limiting the player as well. That's talking about John Reed with John the Texans. Reed. So I'm, I'm sure, like I said, I, I can't tell you that I did a deep dive on John Reed. I, I just watched Penn State play a couple big games, and I didn't think their secondary looked good at all. I couldn't really tell you which one of those guys was John Reed. The other dudes, I just thought as a whole, they didn't look great. And, yeah, it could have been that they weren't used right. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? So we got the second-round picks. They got safety Julian Blackman out of Utah. Obviously, you know my affinity for Utah players. Their defense was pretty lights out last year. Uh, they did not show up great against Oregon, but I, I don't think that really had a whole lot to do with the uh, the passing game. The secondary wasn't the breakdown there. They uh, they just got their butts whipped all up and down the field on basically every position. So, uh, round four, they drafted quarterback Jacob Eason out of Washington. Everybody knows Eason. Played at Georgia. Left Georgia when Jake Fromm won the job. You know, went to Washington. Uh, this was his only season there. Had to sit out the year before. Big arm, not a great decision maker. Um, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll see. They, they've got a year to be able to develop him into the guy if they don't want to pay Phillip Rivers after this season. So we'll, uh, we'll see. Joseph Gomez again on YouTube. Colts week schedule last year. You just don't plug and play a quarterback, even if it is Rivers. Give me the under. The Colts aren't world beaters. I will see. I think this is a really good organization. But, again, let's keep rolling here. Round five, they got uh, interior offensive lineman Danny Piner out of Ball State. This is a big dude, by the way. Uh, I, I like the pick, even if it is in the fifth round. And then in the sixth round, they had four different picks, and they took flyers on all sorts of dudes. Defensive lineman Robert Windsor out of Penn State. They got cornerback Isaiah Rogers out of UMass. They got wide receiver Desmond Patman out of Washington State, and then they got linebacker Jordan Glasgow out of Michigan. Now, they had three straight picks, 211, 212, 213, and they just they took dudes that they think can be pretty good. Um, Isaiah Rogers at UMass, cornerback. Look, I will say this. He is guilty by association because UMass had the worst defense in an, uh, all of Division I football last season. They were putrid, like beyond putrid. Um but, I mean, he may have the measurables. He may be all right. We'll see what happens. Washington State, Desmond Patman, uh, obviously, he's a wide receiver. He had a, a ton of opportunities last year under Mike Leach's offense. The air raid, the way it goes, yeah, 100%. So, and then linebacker Jordan Glasgow at Michigan, uh, yeah, ben, ben jumps in, said UMass gave up 53 points a game. And uh, let's see, Michael Fritz said, Julian Blackman was a great pick, good cornerback before sliding to safety. Uh, yeah, that's Utah. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, and then McKinnon. Love the second round for him. Great value for both those players in the Colts system. Pittman isn't a burner, but runs great routes and has great catching skills and size. Taylor may have a bit of worn tread on his tires because of the number of carries at Wisconsin, but if he takes care of himself, he'll be a stud for him. I, I was a fan of what the Colts did in the draft. Like, they, they kind of do things the, the Seattle way, the, uh, the New England way, like these are not guys that everybody is going to love all the time, but they are guys that fit what they are wanting to do. They are not, you know, loud, look at me, whatever guys. I I was a fan of this draft. Um, go go ahead and give me your your thoughts here. I liked it. I thought I like I liked what they did, especially that second round. I mean, I taking an offense that I already really like a lot and Frank Wright and 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 what they do there. 
I think Philip Rivers is a massive step forward. Um, never really gotten his dues uh, with the Chargers um, and, and just kind of ran into some weird situations there. But um, loading up on that offense, big offensive line. Jonathan Taylor is going to be a beast in that backfield. Uh, and 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 that's going to be fun to watch. And even even if he has tread on his tires, as McKinnon was saying, no, I'm not worried about tread on his tires. His rookie year, his no, third year, like he's yeah, going his, his to be se- fine. When, he, when they get to his second contract. Yeah, you don't want it. You don't want him then. That's fine. That's in four years from now. But his first two three years, he'll be just fine. Yeah, I agree. He'll be great. He'll be great. He'll be okay. That offensive line is built to pound the rock, and that's going to happen. Phil Rivers knows how to run an offense. Pittman's a good receiver. Blackman, I like the pick. I, you know how I feel about safeties. I don't think you can have a tough defense until you have a tough man at safety. Um, and yeah. and uh, and they got Blackman's, that. Blackman's good. Yeah, and I like the Easton pick because I trust Frank Wright to develop him. I think that you know maybe by next year, the year after, at least Frank will have an idea: is this our guy going forward, or is this guy just going to be a backup? Everybody else down. Couldn't tell you a whole hell of a lot about. <laughs> they they were all flyers from the fifth round. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, the the rest of the lot of them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an opinion. So top three you like a lot. If I've got to sling it with a quarterback and take one, I I don't hate it. And you you're a situation where rather Phillips there this year and gone, or if he you know re ups next year and just keeps signing these one year prove it deals and you keep giving him twenty million dollars, it's fine. Then uh you know. The, you know, whatever you'll figure it out with Eason, um, but the the top three pick make me like it. I am biased because I trust this organization. Also, talked about somebody brought up the schedule that weak ass schedule from last year, and they're gonna drop down this year. Let me tell you who they got. I had to pull that schedule. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> they get if we play a normal full schedule, they get the Browns as a uh, the W. Trust me, they get the Bears. <laughs> As, as long as Mitchell Trubisky is there or Nick Foles there, that's, that's going to be a, w. a w. Yeah. They get the Lions. They get the Texans twice. I say split with them, which I think they can sweep them. I like Watson a lot, but that's all me liking Watson a lot. Let's say they split with the Jags, even though I think they can sweep the Jags. I also think they will split with the Titans because the Titans have never swept them. I don't know that the Titans have beaten them very much in our lifetime. No. They're probably going to get beat by the Ravens. They can beat the Bengals. Packers, I'll give you Packer fans one. Let's say they lose that one. Vikings, I got no idea I'll give the Vikings that. They got the Jets. We're at nine wins right there. So, or eight wins right there. Then that's if they don't sweep the Jags. They, they, you know, they get the Raiders. They get the Steelers. We don't know what those teams are going to look like yet. I'm telling you, eight and a half is probably a good number. This schedule this year ain't a whole a hell of a lot worse than last year's. No, you're you're 100 right. I it's, cannot it's wait just, for the schedule. It's just not. It's, I, I think this team is good, and uh, and I think last year they didn't have very many skill players at all. Ty was very up and down health wise. Couldn't keep anybody healthy on the at the running back position, which is why they went out and got one. Um, it's why they went out and got a receiver. I, I think they're going to be poised to make a playoff run. Yeah, I think I think you're probably right. I, this is, you know, possibly Rivers' last stand. Uh, he's going to go out. I also don't and believe the it. Titans can repeat what they did last year. I don't think yeah. Tannehill season is replicable. I well, don't on, think on top can. of that, they they you know they got rid of Jarrell Casey. Now they could still get Jadavian Clowney, but we'll see. Um, I want know, they, them to sign Clowney, and they lost I, Logan I, Ryan. I don't know that lost, matters though. At the end of the day, I don't believe in Tannehill. Yeah, but they, they won with defense and, and running the football last year. They did not win with Tannehill. Like that wasn't you can't you can't that's not sustainable for two seasons. That's what I'm saying is they lost a ton of experience on the defensive side of the football. Well, the team that's going to go backwards is them. I think the Colts take a step forward. The Jags are rebuilding. The Texans, I got no fucking clue what they're doing. <laughs> All I want is Watsons and a Patriots jersey. Is that too much to ask? I don't, I don't think it's too much to ask. I mean, I know it's a lot. I know, I, I know, it's, I know. I just asked my daddy for a car for Christmas, but I really want it. Oh my God! <laughs> uh, ben said, uh, uh, "Oh, Michael said I hate Rivers, but I have to respect the guy. He's the guy you hate playing but love when he's on your team." You're really Obviously, glad he's out of the division, don't you? Yeah, he's out of the division, so it, he's happy with it. So mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think the Broncos have to play uh, the Colts this year. Nope, so I think they're not on that schedule. Uh, Playoffs, that'd be it. And then Ben on YouTube said Tannehill had frauds as coaches in Miami. 
Yeah, 100%. That, that might be. If you go back and look at the stats for Tannehill last year, man, they, it is. In the fluky. regular season, it was really good. It is, but it's fluky. It's, it's fluky. all fluky stuff. It's it 100% not, is. You just can't replicate it, man. History yeah. says nobody's been able to do that two years in a row. And it's they, all fluky. God, they paid him so much money. Oh, yeah, Jesus. so basically I went back and looked at that deal. Hang on, I got that deal pulled up. Okay. So it's it's basically two and a half years guaranteed. That third year, if he's half decent and they wanted to trade him, it's almost no dead cap money. So they could move him that third year, but half the contract is guaranteed that third year. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. That makes sense. So. All right. It's all front loaded, by the way. The first year is thirty seven five. Okay. That that's that is over half of his guaranteed money he gets in year one. That's so it's basically lot. is. Yeah, it's a two year deal. Yeah, that's man. not two and a half years. That is a two year deal. That's a yeah, that's two year deal. That works. It's a, it's a two year deal where all the front money 